Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the summer gathering being held this weekend at Kilo Hotel Alpha Oscar Airport. That's Butler County Regional Airport, Hogan Field. We had a good event. This is the coverage of it. We're going to stay tuned as we cover what all we did during this event. Sorry we missed you. Hope to see you next year. Stand by. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So this was a pretty typical GPA event. A lot went on, a lot was happening. So when people were arriving on arrival day, we got to look at all their nice new equipment in their airplane and people were very happy to show off what they had. And here's Eric showing off his brand new Dynon panel. He just got in his Tiger and it was a nice looking panel. So we got to do that. And then like a lot of things, you know, you get to start talking to the people that are in the crowd. Like, well, we were discussing the new panel with um, Eric's wife Dawn and she goes out of the deal she got a nice hat so that worked out really well for her but you know you're not buying a panel for the hat but it's just all fun talking to the people and hearing the different folks takes on how everything went and then it doesn't take really long at one of these events for us to go into um, wrench bending and elbow bending mode but we also had people like this gentleman here he came to the event because he's interested in buying a Grumman and he had a sheet of paper and he had a ton of questions on it and we went through that entire list of questions to make sure that we could answer all of them for him and they were good questions you know he was looking at cruise speed economy availability of parts you know where to get it worked on good questions for a prospective owner because this is going to be his first airplane and he wants to make sure he does it right so he knows all about the pre-purchase and everything else he's going to have to get. But again, it was people looking for an airplane, and that was kind of helping things along. So a general event, you know, you never know what the schedule is going to bring because it can change in a minute. As a matter of fact, with the uh, rigging that we did at the event, we ended up having a rigging seminar and checking the measurements of people's airplanes. We measured a couple of other people's airplanes and gave them a list. But it's a mixed bag. So between social time and the meals and uh, rigging seminars uh, the hangar flying of uh, the meals we served and looking at people's airplanes it will fill out a day fairly quickly for you but anyway uh, again another educated person looking to, to buy an airplane asking all the right questions and uh, that's always very encouraging for us because you know we get a lot of people who bought an airplane and they can't tell you why they bought it or anything but enough about buying an airplane stand by so for those of you who are new to the GPA, we used to have wrench and elbow bending sets because you worked on airplanes bending your wrenches all day and you bent your elbow at night uh, downing uh, adult beverages. But anyway, uh, we measured a lot of people's airplanes and so that's always a, a perk. We have all the rigging tools, we have the AMOC template, and we don't mind using them to measure your airplane and give you some numbers because, you know, doing AMOC on your airplane, it's a one-time event goes in your law book done rigging same thing once you rig a grumman you can take it apart and put it back together and you don't affect the rigging as long as you put it back together but anyway you know we did have the little bit of the rent wrench bending coming in and again we were writing all the numbers down for folks so they have a sheet that they can take home with them to take to their mechanic get some rigging tools and done plus people were interested to see how the rigging tools were actually used on the airplane and there were a lot of good questions like well why don't you just set the flaps by the wing root well, there's no guarantee that the wing roots on either side of the airplane are going to be at the same level. They were installed on separate times by separate people, may not guarantee to be at the same level. And that's why you use the rigging boards because it registers off of the wing, not the wing root. So you want to make sure you have something good and solid. But again, we did the rigging on a number of airplanes. I think there were 24 people who had good questions about it and uh, then we had a good time and we answered all those and people went away with with again with the data sheets on their airplane so again just a typical and it was amazing how fast we fell back into a wrench and elbow bending mode now we didn't have a whole lot on the schedule planned because you know we kind of wing it but like arrival day we looked at people's airplanes and then we had an aircraft come in that did not have a voltage regulator that was working and they weren't charging so we had to fix that then it was another person had to get an oil and filter change because they were at 25 hours and then of course as you know with any event there's always food pilots do love food 
even though it does affect their weight and balance well at least their weight but here's a little picture through the hangar right here of all the the people standing in line to get the smoked brisket we had a customer do 24 pounds of brisket smoked it brought in the sides and the uh, barbecue sauce and treated everybody to a really nice meal now this was the meal that we were going to have at seven o'clock at night but sherman called up earlier in the day and said the meat was cooking faster than he expected and therefore could we serve dinner in the two to three o'clock range and we all went yes because you don't want to have brisket on a for four hours late and have it all be dry and not fun to eat but anyway the line always moves fast there was plenty of food we ate it all nobody went away hungry we had also taken the time uh, nancy and luann had gone out and bought um, the beers for the evening they had gone out and bought pop for the refrigerator as well as the water that we keep in stock for us to drink and everybody else to share with and as most things in the gpa everything is pretty much is on a donation basis i mean when you come to event we've never really had where oh you had to pay thirty dollars to come to event or you had to pay ten dollars or whatever the number would be we just take donations and you know for us we've been very lucky we've only lost money and it was a couple of dollars just one time usually we make like two or three dollars over what people donate now we know that everybody do donates the same some people give more but it works out well from the organizational standpoint but after talking to all the people at the event i think that for next year's event next june 2022 we're going to change it up and we're going to have a registration fee so that people will pay in advance that will give us a much better head count we had nine people register for the event but at one point i counted 25 people uh, and we hadn't even got the full capacity yet so we're going to start something new so we can have a better handle on it and the only reason for that is is we want to have the ability to help people have a good time and have an appropriate head count so that we have enough food and enough beverages enough transportation and we can let the hotels and the fbo know who's all coming and what kind of parking we will need so that's coming for the future by the way you'll be noticing a schedule change on the next year's june event on the gpa site and uh, we're going to be looking at what we're thinking about doing for oshkosh next year so ladies and gentlemen i hope you like this brief look into what we did this weekend we all had a good time and we're sorry we missed you Please try on making it next year. We're going to have a much better, hopefully a much more fun agenda. Everybody here had a good time. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat. About 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all please enjoy.